I'm known as a loud mouth, so I'm, I think I'm probably okay without a mic. <laughs> Don, you are our uh, person of honor. If we can have you come up front here along with the mayor and the Reeves, that would be greatly appreciated. Kevin Don, if you wouldn't mind. Great, thank you. Uh, it is with great pleasure today that we are here to honor um, Don Gillespie with the Queen's Jubilee Medal that is uh, graciously provided by Her Majesty. And uh, Kevin will give you a little bit of uh, background uh, today about the medal and why the presentations. So, of course, we all know our guest of honor, Don Gillespie. Congratulations. <laughs> Reed Nixon, uh, representing the County of Stetler, uh, Mayor, <laughs> Mayor Richards, representing the Town of Stetler, <laughs> Kevin Sorensen, our Member of Parliament, <laughs> and I'm Leona Thorogood, uh, one of the Town of Stetler Councillors. Um, it, uh, Kevin contacted us as the town a while ago asking if there were any citizens in the town of Stetler or the county of Stetler that we felt were deserving of the Queen's Jubilee Medal. I can tell you from personal experience, I moved here in 1983. And it wasn't long after we had moved here, Don, that, um, of course, I had to come get groceries, so where else do I go but to G&H Foods? And it was one of those things that you walked into the store as a newcomer, you were greeted with smiles, and lo and behold, you were also greeted by the owner of G&H Foods at that point in time. I didn't realize how pivotal that would be in my life here in Stetler. Dawn is not only a business owner, an entrepreneur, a great community builder, but he's a mentor to more of us than I'm sure that he can ever imagine whether he's touched our lives individually or just through being part of the community and being an example, Don has made truly a difference in the town of Stetler. So without further ado, I would like to invite Kevin to come forward and to talk about the Greek, the medal itself and to uh, uh, do the official presentation. Well, thank you very much, Leona. And Again, uh, it is indeed a pleasure to be here this afternoon. This is the first time that I have, not the first time that I have been on this train. We certainly, uh, my wife and my family have uh, enjoyed being on the train and, and taking the trip to, to Big Valley and uh, just to spend some quality time together. But it is the first time that I've ever been able to make a presentation uh, such as this one in a place other than a community hall or in a local office, uh, my <laughs> local MP office. So as the Member of Parliament for Crowfoot, it is a pleasure to be able to present the Queen's, uh, Queen Elizabeth II Diamond Jubilee Medal um, that have been provided to our federal electoral district. I need to say, first of all, that um, we have earlier, and, and many, some of you were there present in November. On November 12th, the day after Remembrance Day, we presented 26 medals uh, in Stetler at the Legion Hall for individuals from around my constituency of Crowfoot. Crowfoot is a fairly large area, it takes up 45,000 square kilometers. Hannah is actually the geographical center of Crowfoot, but uh, Stetler um, was the venue that we chose that evening. Uh, we thought we would do it before winter set in, uh, the, the real hazardous driving, and again, we had snow in October when we had planned this, so uh, we, had, we had 26 present there that evening in Stetler and handed the, uh, some, of, some of the medals out. Um, it's also a pleasure for me to be able to represent the Government of Canada and our Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Stephen Harper, uh, our, our, our Prime Minister, but also on this occasion, the Honourable uh, Governor General, uh, the Right Honourable Governor General, David Johnson. Um, I also want to offer a special welcome to the family, friends, and nominators of uh, today's worthy recipient, Don Gillespie. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, today's recipient has done much more than a single medal can ever really uh, properly recognize. 
Um, we can all be very proud of our community, uh, of the community of Stetler and the larger community of our county, but East Central Alberta. And the record of many people who have contributed to those communities uh, to make them better places to live. As your member of parliament, I, I'll just say that I am very, very impressed um, by the number of volunteers that step forward, those people who are community-minded that step forward and make a difference in our communities. Uh, when I was a young, young child, my dad gave me a number of valuable lessons. Usually the valuable lesson was when there was a, a, a spanking or a strap coming or some, some kind of disciplinary action. It's probably not politically correct to, to talk about spankings, but that's usually when a lot of these, these lessons came. But one of the lessons that I remember quite well was when he said, Kevin, there are three types of people in this world. There are the workers, there are the shirkers, and there are the jerkers. And you will find them wherever you go. You will find people in communities that will just make their community better. They will, they're, they're the 20% of the people that do 80% of the work. They're the ones that get engaged and make the organization better, the town better, the city better. Those, those are the workers. Then there's the shirkers, the people that say, oh yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, don't worry about a thing, we'll do it. And they do a half job. All right, uh, they, they go out and they kind of shirk their responsibilities. And then there's the people that uh, I guess he would have defined as the jerkers. These are the ones that will sit back and watch other people involved and they'll have all the criticism in the world about it. Uh, let me tell you, today's recipient is a worker. He, he's one of those individuals that has made Stetler a better place to live. He's one of those individuals that has created a passion for our community. Like, why can't we do something? And really, that's, that's what uh, uh, our communities need more of. We need more people who can create that type of energy or passion uh, for our communities. Um, all communities have them, uh, but certainly we have a, a very special one here today. As a member of parliament, I have been given 30 medals to distribute. Most of the medals, uh, although I um, I was given 30 medals. My decision was that I am not going to be the picker of the winners or the, and the losers. I'm not going to pick and choose the winners and the losers. I would rather other people nominate and we would have a committee that would take a look and decide which ones would receive. Um, so to that end, there are some who receive because of military service. There are others who receive because of a remarkable job they did uh, over a number of years in their communities, and certainly Dawn fits into that category. Um, the Queen's Diamond Jubilee, a little bit of history on it uh, that the Governor General provided for us. The Queen's Diamond Jubilee Medal was created to celebrate Her Majesty's accession to the throne 60 years ago. This commemorative medal is a tangible and lasting way to pay, to pay tribute to 60,000 Canadians whose achievements have benefited their fellow, fellow citizens, their communities, their organization, and really they've uh, enhanced our, our country. It provides an opportunity to look back and to recognize those who made Canada what it is today. Um, our commitment to Canada is, is strengthened when we collectively pay respect and homage to those who distinguish themselves by virtue of their talents, their generosity, their service to their community and their country. And so we are very pleased to recognize today's recipient. This year we celebrate, this, or actually um, we've just celebrated the 60th anniversary of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's accession to the throne as a Queen of Canada, which is only the second time such a milestone has been achieved in the history of the monarchy. The Office of the Governor General of Canada has established this Diamond Jubilee Medal in her honor. The commemorative medal is a way for us to honor Her Majesty. Queen Elizabeth II is the only sovereign that I personally have ever known. Um, and it's probably true of many of us. <coughs> We're truly blessed, I believe, to be living in an era that has lasted as long as it has. For 60 years, we have been under very stable leadership of our Queen Elizabeth II. Our Queen has conducted the affairs of state in a dignified manner and uh, she has, I think, 
uh, become someone who we look at with great respect. Now, there may be some who say, you know, I'm not a monarchist. I don't believe that Canada really needs that monarchy. And even those who believe that would say, at least many of them that I have met, would say that Queen Elizabeth II has conducted herself in a gracious, uh, dignified manner. The world has watched a young woman grow into a role that is much more than just any one person. We can all imagine the challenges that she has faced, the changing in technology, but certainly the challenges over the last 60 years that Her Majesty has uh, been in her position. And we've all witnessed her steadfast determination, passion, and compassion. Canada is a constitutional monarchy. As the head of state, the Queen's most important responsibility is to ensure that Canada always has a Prime Minister and a government in place that has the confidence of Parliament. Her work is accomplished through the office of the Governor-General. Like many other nations, the British Commonwealth, the nation of Canada, was created in the British system, or the, under the British monarch. Britain dominated the world for many years as an empire, uh, financed settlements and the creation of other nations around the world. But what are some of the things that Canada has adopted? Well, the Westminster parliamentary system, the common law, the rule of law, basic freedoms, human rights, are all hallmarks of the British Empire. Since before Confederation in 1867, the people living in what we now know as Canada enjoy the ben enjoyed the benefits of all the traditions of the British Empire. As a nation, we incorporated many of them as our values. We adopted many of them as our values into our system. And Canada has succeeded. Canada has been successful. Many people in the world today believe that Canada is the greatest country in the world. Commemorative medals are established from time to time to mark special anniversaries or occasions. They are typically awarded to recognize service, to recognize contributions made by Canadians you know, from many different spectrums of, of uh, community life. Just for your information, and again, from information that the Governor General has provided us, some of those medals you may well recollect or remember. Uh, the Canadian Centennial Medal, 1967. The Queen Elizabeth II Silver Jubilee Medal, 1977, the 125th anniversary of the Confederation of Canada Medal, 1992, and the Queen Elizabeth II Golden Jubilee Medal in 2002. And again, I recall as a young MP that time being able to present them in the Legion here in, in Stettler as well for the riding of Crowfoot. This afternoon, um, we want to bestow one of these awards uh, in recognition for service to Canada, the Queen Elizabeth the second Golden Jubilee Medal. And so again, I want to thank all of you for coming today. I want to thank the nominators. I want to thank uh, family of Don Gillespie. And certainly, sir, I want to thank you for many years of service. And I think it's very appropriate to be able to do it on this railway. Um, I almost forgot, I mean, some of the things that Leona mentioned, um, he was back in 1983. I, you know, another thing too, just to say that there are those who will step forward, and, and we commend them, but they will step forward in their retiring years because they have time. They have time on their, on their hands, and they're looking for things to do. And we need you. We need them. But in 1983, uh, Don Gillespie, a young man in 1983, uh, was recognized <laughs> by the, the town of Stetler. And, and was uh, nominated and, and won the award as Citizen of the Year, 1983. Yeah. So this hasn't been something that in the final few years he has, he has said, you know, I have time on my hands. This, this is a gentleman that is, through his life, has said, how can I make a little difference in the community in which I reside? How can I make it better? How can I make it a place that we can be so proud to call home? Don Gillespie didn't do it all himself. Stetler has many of those types of individuals that have stepped forward and played their role. But Don, you certainly have played a very, very major role. And tourism in Stetler, uh, just so many of the friendly face that they got at the grocery store, so many other things that you have been involved in, and you've been recognized over the years, whether it's provincial service awards or uh, tourist association awards, he's won his share. 
And so uh, I want to congratulate you and end this long, far too long speech by uh, presenting you with the medal. Also in this package here, you'll, you'll receive a certificate from the Governor General, um, also from your local member of parliament, uh, a certificate, but the medal of uh, Her Majesty the Second is right there. And this is where you break into your job. So John, congratulations very much. I'll maybe have uh, Leona, if you want to do the pinning. Um, I, I'm, at, I'm at that stage. I'm at that stage in my life where I, I have to be at a certain distance to see what I'm actually doing. So Leona, would you mind? Uh, Dad, excuse me, Don. And you think my eyesight's any better? <laughs> well, I know you. Oh, oh, it's I, not. I know you're. Uh, you're a much younger lady than myself, so. Okay, let's see. She's, she's nervous. I am. I should look this way. I just know. No, it's not. The lighting is going to be a little tricky. There we go. Thank you. There, let me out of the picture. All right, so let's do another photo op here, and uh, we'll hold this certificate as well. Uh oh. We can maybe have another photo op when we're done here, Richard. Okay? We'll find a spot that's a little bit better. All right. And Leona, you have a program here, so you have a few others as well. You're right. Uh, if you'd like to take a seat, I'll invite uh, His Worship Mayor uh, Richards to say a couple words. Um, although not originally anticipating being part of the, the official program, I, I do think it's very important that on behalf of um, our council and the citizens of Stettler that we congratulate. Don Gillespie on this on this award. Um, people like Don do what they do, not for recognition, but they do it to make this place a better place. And I think we're all the benefactors of his hard work over the years. So once again, congratulations. Hey, and I'll also invite His Worship uh, Reed Nixon to say a couple words. Oh, when Leona asked me if I would like to say a couple of words today, I said I certainly would. My first reaction when I uh, got the email the other day that said that Don Gillespie had uh, won the Diamond Jubilee Award, I was thinking, finally, there's somebody that actually deserves it. And not, not taking anything away from the... <laughs> some of us that have, <laughs> but but as, as Mayor Richards wrote in the paper, you, you know, some of us just go about doing our jobs. Don went far above and beyond his job. And I know that many of you have likely stood in the lineup at Walmart, for example, in Red Deer years ago, where they had three tills open and there were seven or eight people lined up between each till and said to yourself, if Don Gillespie was running this business, <laughs> because if you went into Don's store, if there was more than two people lined up, he would either open another till, have somebody open another till, or do it himself. And uh, a, a good businessman and a very good uh, community leader. And congratulations, John, on be, or Don, on behalf of the county. Um, thank you very much for the presentation here today, and congratulations, Don. Um, well, well deserved. Some of the things that we found out as we were, uh, Bob Willis is at the back there, and I kind of picked his brain a little bit. <laughs> Um, plus a few others, but it's it's not just G and H Foods, and it's not just tourism. Don has done a lot more in this community that that we all have to be very grateful. Don could have done anything that he chose to do. He has a capacity to be able to vision or to be able to see something that is worthwhile for this community. That's few and far between. There are not many of us that are here on this earth that have that ability to be a visionary. And Don, that's one of the true gifts that you actually have that you gave to this community. And we thank you for that. He's also a very private man. Trying to get information about Don is almost impossible. <laughs> he is humble 
and does what he does simply because of the love of the community, his family, and being able to do things that actually do make that difference. Quality of life in my conversations with Bob seem to be what Don's absolute objective is, no matter what he undertakes and what he does. Alberta Prairie Steam Tours is, is a prime example of that. Stetler really didn't have huge tourist attractions. And, and in uh, 1989, when the steam train was actually run by Tom Payne, Tom thought, you know what, I can't do this any longer. Don took that idea, ran with it, came up with a number of other people that joined him in this venture. And what was a love of steam trains became a real huge tourist attraction for the town of Settler. And we as a community, both the town and the county, can't thank you enough for that. Um, this consortium, its main objective was to preserve the heritage of the steam, steam train. And one thing that is little known is Don's objectives also are to create that quality of life in order to provide jobs for people of Settler. And that's one of the things that is really, really difficult in today's world to be able to do. Don, you provided a living for a number of people in this community and again, that's part of that quality of life that we have. Summer Games, Stetler Summer Games in 1991 and Malcolm's back there, you were one of the, the chairs that were there, Alan, I think you were part of it as well. There's a number of people that were in this community that were on that particular board. But at the time, they needed a food chair. And Don, still in G&H Foods, took on the task of being the food chair for the 1991 Summer Games. They were the best fed participants that I think have ever happened because between Don and his suppliers and his influence, it was absolutely amazing how everyone got fed to full and capacity and beyond. And that was all thanks to Don. Uh, also, along with that, in the Summer Games, they also experienced one of the best um, profits that have ever been seen. And that, those profits from that Summer Games are still evident here today. I believe, Bob, that the tennis courts were part of that, um, as well as some other venues around the town. So that's a little bit of the legacy that volunteer work can do. Don also was very instrumental in all of the downtown businesses. He helped form the Downtown Business Association and was instrumental in starting up the night before the night before Christmas. As I said, when I first moved to town here, that was one of the first years that that actually happened. If you can imagine Main Street as it is today as well, and the same event is full to brimming with people walking up and down the street. We've got rides, we've got fires, we've got hot chocolate, all of the vendors are open. It's one of the amazing events that happens in this community where we all come together and celebrate a time of year and celebrate our family. That was part of Don's vision. That's the type of gentleman that was here. Don, of course, owned and operated G&H Foods, but he didn't also just provide us with something to buy. He wasn't just a retailer. If you were a part of a service organization and you needed something, you went to G&H Foods and you talked to Don. And almost invariably, I can probably say without a doubt, there isn't one of us that has ever walked out of there with an out and out no from Don. He has made a number of the events that have happened in this community successful through his generosity and through his willingness to help with the staff and everything else. I also know that Don, very quietly and quite often, helped others become entrepreneurs in this community, whether that be through financial support or whether that is just through encouragement. Don was one of those people that said, go out and do it. You can make it happen. This is something that we need here in town. And Don, your encouragement has made lots of the businesses here in town thrive. He's recognized uh, throughout Alberta in the grocers world. And as Kevin said, is a recipient of a number of awards. And you'll be able to see those inside the train, store, train uh, station over here. In short, Don is really a community builder. His humility is profound, and his generosity continues to this day. Family and community mean the world to Don, and it has shown in all of the paths that he has chosen. All of the other businesses that Don has been part of could have applied for and received many of the awards, but because of his humility and generosity, 
Don has chosen not that path, but he's chosen to be the worker, as Kevin has talked about. So today, thank you so much to all of you for coming and helping us celebrate the award to Don Gillespie. And Don, did you want to say anything in closing? <laughs> <laughs> First off, I, I really don't know who you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> mayor and myself. Um, I've been very fortunate in life. Really. Um, met my wife 60, about 62 years ago. And we've been married over 52, I guess. And that was the most fortunate thing I've had. But I've always been surrounded by good people. There's always been people that have helped. Uh, they deserve. 90, 80, 90 percent of it because they're they're the ones that did the shovel work. They're the ones that did the, you know. But I, I think it's just a matter of trusting and, and going out and, and uh, being able to communicate with the people. Um, yeah, some you got to push, some you got to pull, but they're all basically good. Uh, I I don't know how many years I've been in business. It's been many, and I've had lots of people working for me. Uh, I don't remember out of, I have no idea. When I was in the city, there was 250. I don't remember firing two people in my life. I never fired two people in my life. We used to get all the uh, um, work experience people that were difficult to place. Uh, Larry Wilson in town, for one, he would phone me up and say, hey, you know, and I would, take them, we would take them in our store, but it wasn't me, it was it's the rest of the store. They they worked them, the rest of the staff worked with them, and they helped them out. And, and uh, we get letters today from these people that we're happy that they got the chance to do that. So, I, you know, I guess the rewards are good, and I, and I appreciate it, and I thank you very much, and I thank everybody who, who um, decided that I should have it, but uh, there are so many people that deserve it that, uh, I don't know, that's why I, I like to stay in the, <laughs> <laughs> stay in the picture here. Anyway, thanks very much. Thank you to everyone coming today. There's coffee and donuts, and feel free to visit. And if uh, the paper or anyone else would like to uh, get some photos, we'll maybe close a couple blinds here so we can cut down the glare. Okay. Very good. Yes, <laughs> sir. <laughs>